What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another breaking news story and finally the Australian Open has a start date. We're finally going to get the Australian Open confirmed in February. So it is going to be in February like we thought a couple of weeks ago, but a little bit further into February than we might have thought. We thought it was going to be on the 1st of Feb. Actually going to start on the 8th of February with the final being on the 21st of February. So a little bit later than we thought, and it's also going to clash with a lot of tournaments, which we'll talk about in another video. Okay, as you can see there, February 8th is the start of the tournament. 21st will be the final date. Players have to arrive between the 15th and then 17th of January. So it gives players a couple of days to get, you know, get over their New Year's hangover. The 14-day quarantine starts when the last player arrives. So if you arrive on the 15th of January, you're waiting for everybody to arrive on the 17th. Our players are going to get tested five times throughout the quarantine. They're going to get tested on day one, day three, day seven, day 10, and then the final day, day 14. Hopefully all negative tests. If they're not negative, they have to stay in quarantine for a bit longer. Uh, players are only allowed to have one coach, which isn't really that strange because at the US Open, I think it was the same, uh, same deal. The players have a restriction on where they're actually allowed to go when they go training. They're only allowed to go to Albert Reserve Tennis Center or Melbourne Park, which is where the Australian Open is based. And players are only allowed out five hours per day during quarantine. So two hours on court, two hours in the gym, and only one hour allowed to eat food, go to the you know cafeteria at Melbourne Park. Also, the prize money for the tournament will stay the same. So the winner will stay, get the same amount of prize money as they did last year. Tennis Australia are actually covering all the costs. So flights coming in, chartered flights coming in. I think they're covering entourage costs and stuff like that. And we still have no word on how many fans are allowed to actually join the tournament how many fans are allowed to be at the event so there you have it they are the policies the protocols that the players are going to have to go through just to play the australian open uh is it going to be worth it we'll find out are players going to show up do players want this i mean the one coach we know a couple of players didn't like that fact uh you know at the us open that they weren't allowed to bring a big entourage or a lot of people We'll see if that actually makes a difference to people's decision if they want to play. You know, some players might drop out last minute. By the way, the reason why it's being played on the 8th of February and not the 1st is to give players an extra week of warm-up tournaments. And also, if players do test positive during the quarantine or when they arrive, it gives them an extra week to get better instead of being kicked out of the tournament as soon as they test positive. So that's another reason why it's being pushed back. Let me know in the comments down below if you think anyone is going to pull out. But the Australian Open... It's played in February, mid-February, February the 8th.